o'clock and we have a lot going on today and we already have like a bunch of mishaps happening everything was going so smooth until i'm like damn let me like do my laundry real quick because okay so i'm going to a birthday party tonight she's having like a color thing birthday last year i actually met tisha at her birthday party at her house last year and this year she's having another birthday party but it's just girls and we're having a color thing Mind you, okay, so she not only has a color thing, but she has like a wardrobe thing where we're supposed to be wearing like, you know, that green outfit, like that green dress I was wearing all vlog, like last vlog. Something like that. She called it like African auntie attire where we're wearing like the oversized, like comfy stuff or whatever. And you're supposed to obviously wear your color and then come with a basket full of things that's your color. So... I, at first, originally, I had chose white, but then I'm like, dang, I don't have enough time to order anything or whatever. So I was just gonna wear my auntie outfit, you know? And, but mind you, my auntie outfit, hey, you know what I'm saying? That outfit won't cheat, which I'm very frustrated about because a couple days ago, I got bleach on it by accident. Oh my God, that was so frustrating. That dress cost me like $275, and it was on sale. So that wasn't even the original price of the dress. Was it two or was it four? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know, I can't remember, but the dress is messed up now. It had bleach, a bleach stain on it, but I was like, you know what? Don't worry about it. We're just going to pin it, make it look kind of sexy, you know? Why? I hear some leaking from my washing machine. I hear leaking from a washing machine. I'm like, what in the world? And I look, and I'm like, oh, something's stuck, which is causing water to flow through the door. I opened the door, bro. Why is it my sleeve to my dress in the door? It got stuck in the door. It got stuck in the door. And it ripped it off of the dress. I'm so frustrated right now because one, that dress was expensive. Two, that was the only thing that I had to wear today. Three, like how the freak and why today out of all days would the sleeve get stuck in the door and the wash, I have it being washed on gentle. How did it get enough strength to rip? To detach from the garment? So I, can, I, I fixed that, I, I put it back. I, I, I'm gonna just let the washer do its thing, continue washing. And I'm like really sad right now because I'm like, I don't know what, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I literally don't know what to do. And I, I won't know what to do until I put it in the dryer to see where actually it falls. Maybe I can sew it, but then that might be noticeable and look tacky. I, I don't know what to do. But I can't really stress about it. I can't really stress about it because I have bigger things to fry, bigger fish to fry. I don't even have anything. I was gonna do the shopping today. I didn't think I was gonna be done this late, but I was gonna do the shopping for my little basket today. I gotta go somewhere and find green stuff and put it in the basket. But, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know, so, like I said, I'm gonna let the washer do this thing and see what it look like when I pull it out. In the meantime, I got two wigs that I still need to finish styling. And I gotta finish content on these other two wigs. And I still have to do my hair, lashes, and makeup. And she lives far. I don't know. We're about to see what, we're about to see what I'm going to do. In the meantime, let me get to work. We're going to finish the wigs first, because that's priority. And then I'm going to tap back in and let y'all know what the hell going on, because this is a mess. And the camera cricket. Don't judge me. Okay, so I went ahead and I just threw this bob on. While it's melting, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I kinda wanna just go ahead and get myself ready. Now, I still have to do a little bit of shopping, but I figured if I'm already ready, hair, makeup, clothes on, I can run out, do the shopping, and then just go straight there. Cause it's already five o'clock right now. I just got finished working on all the wigs. It's five o'clock, starts at eight. That could be done by like six, six thirty go or maybe 6 30 if I can be done and ready by 6 30 I can go shopping and I can make it to the function one time y'all know we trying to stay on time these days but yeah in the meantime I'm just gonna go ahead do my makeup catch up on some of the YouTube girlies vlogs and stuff and uh, 
yeah so you guys can enjoy this montage slash get ready with me <laughs> Post me a pic, finna make me a profit When the liquor hit, then the bitch get toxic Why the fuck you in the club with niggas wild? I been lit since brunch, that shit Order 42 for the table, let's pop shit Missionary or a doggy style on my top shit Pussy ass niggas hating on me from the closet Folks trying to call me a snake shit I guess I can relate cause a bitch spit a whole lot of venom And since these hoes are rats when they come around me All I see is a whole lot of dinner I walk around the house but nigga then I stop at air mirror Just stare at my own posterior I don't give a fuck who talk behind my back knew better than to let me hear okay so now that the makeup is done the makeup the base of my foundation and my eyeshadow actually is given like flawless like is this even a base this is even a base this is like my makeup for today like i think it looks so good my makeup turned out so good today i'm very much pleased with my highlight and contour now i'm about to go ahead and just do my lashes really quick i'm going to be using my um favorite imv classic 3d trio in long i have this link in my amazon storefront so don't forget to check out everything honestly in my amazon storefront just browse through my amazon storefront it's literally everything that i've ever purchased not ever purchased but for the most part things that i purchased from amazon so yeah, this will be linked in my Amazon storefront. I'm telling you guys, these are like my favorite go-to cluster lashes. And y'all about to see why. Let me, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get back into my vlogs, my YouTube vlogs. And then you guys can see the after right meal. <laughs> okay, so these are my lashes. I realized that um, I typically get the... 3D Trio Lash in Ultra Black. Yeah, in Ultra Black. And I had got these. These were the 3D, the 3D Trio Ultra Black in Medium, but the Medium is too short for me. So I went to the store and I got the 3D Trio in Long, but I forgot to get them in Ultra Black. So as you can tell, like this is lighter and more natural than the ultra black the ultra black is thicker i personally love the ultra black i like my lashes to be like full and like thick but these are long but these are definitely giving more of a, a natural vibe so if this is like your vibe and aesthetic then you will definitely just like the regular 3d trio if you like them to be more like full and like more um dramatic just full then get the um ultra black um, 3D Trio by INV. But, yeah. I just got finished with my lashes. That literally took me maybe, oh, matter of fact, because I was in the middle of watching a vlog. And, uh, okay, so that took me 20 minutes to do my lashes. Yeah, because the vlog is in 21.30. So, yeah, it took me 20 minutes to do my lashes, and now I'm about to do my bottom mascara. I mean, yeah, my bottom lashes. I personally like the Bad Gal Bang mascara from benefit i just love this stuff so i'm just gonna go ahead and do my bottom lashes and then we're gonna go ahead and start getting dressed and finish our hair it's currently six o'clock so i have like an hour to do some shopping um to get my little green stuff together i don't know if i told you guys but it's a color thing party so we have to come with like a basket but look like your color and my color is green and we're gonna have to finesse our dress because our dress just got ruined in the washing machine which was a freaking disaster slash nightmare like I just I literally just cannot believe it it's crazy I do like quadruple quote I do like quadruple quote what am I saying I do like quadruple. I like to apply four layers of lashes. No, I like to apply. <laughs> I don't miss y'all. I apply damn near four coats of mascara on my bottom lashes. As you can tell, because I just keep on going. I just want them to be seen. 
I used to have really long lashes before I started wearing um, false lashes. And then when I started getting those like individual lashes, I think they just like was pulling my lashes out or something because my lashes are not as long as they used to be. People used to, I used to just wear mascara and people used to always ask me like, oh my God, are those your lashes? Um, yeah. So yeah, that lets you know that I really used to have really long full lashes, but now it's like once you start wearing a lash extension, it's like you can't go back. It's like crack. Same thing with like wigs. Once you start wearing wigs, it's like you don't want to go back. It's like crack. It's like crack, 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 crack. Crack is whack, but the wigs is all that. I saw someone had um, threaded. I'm so here for thread because I did not get to hop on the Twitter um, bandwagon. I was on Twitter a little bit before I really started doing like social media and stuff. So I was on Twitter back then, but um, when I started taking like social media way more seriously, I could not get with the Twitter. I just couldn't get jiggy with it. I was so focused on like YouTube and Instagram that I just totally forgot about Twitter and it was hard for me to like get back into it and I was just like, screw Twitter. And then TikTok came around. I'm like, damn, I got to get on TikTok. And it's hard for me to get jiggy with TikTok too. Like, I don't know. And then shorts on YouTube. Like, I'm like, oh my God, all this stuff. People be on Facebook. I just don't understand how people will be balancing Facebook, YouTube, YouTube shorts, TikTok, Instagram, Reels, um, Twitter, and now threads. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy with threads though. Like, I'm on threads. I'm on Threads and I'm obviously on YouTube and Instagram and the only thing that I want to incorporate more of is like my YouTube shorts and TikTok because I do reels, I do Instagram posts, feed posts, I do story posts, I just really need to um, do more TikTok and really I could just, the only thing is people say like oh use your videos that you use on Instagram reels and stuff on or short video forms of YouTube on TikTok and stuff I don't want to do that because I feel like my followers are going to be my followers and y'all can follow me everywhere I go why would y'all want to see the same freaking content on every single platform on every single platform maybe I'm thinking too like deep into it but I don't think I'm thinking too deep that, that's just my purpose I don't want to post every, I don't want to post the same thing on every single platform I just I don't want to do that I just care too much I care too much about y'all for y'all to be seeing the same shit everywhere like I don't want to do that so um uh, yeah I'm just trying to think of like what can I use each platform for so like maybe YouTube obviously like um, vlogs how to things of that nature and then maybe I can do um, YouTube shorts for like uh, what do you think? What do you guys think? Should my YouTube shorts be more of like... Be more of like... Like get dressed with me's. Like those type of things. Like get dressed with me's. Get ready with me's. And then TikTok. Maybe I should do more of like lifestyle. Like short form content. Like maybe... Um, different restaurants in the area, different places to do things to do. That's what I'm more so thinking. Okay, so YouTube for lifestyle vlogs, like lifestyle vlogs and how-to videos. I need to incorporate more hair videos and stuff. Like more creative stuff, not just installing a wig, but like showing you guys like my, my talents, like for real. And then um, YouTube shorts could be more of like get dressed with me, get ready with me. And then uh, TikTok could be more so of like... I don't know trendy funny stuff slash I kind of just want to stick to the trendy funny stuff because yeah and then Instagram reels could be you know how my Instagram reels already is I guess and then Instagram feed and then threads it's just me just voicing my opinions about everything or you know or maybe you guys can get some 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 Instagram quotes, some Instagram captions off of my threads. That's what my threads could be. My threads could be a place where you can get Instagram captions. And then I just talk about other little random stuff. Hmm. What y'all think? But yeah, this is my makeup for today. Da -da -da -da. I didn't do my lips yet. Um, but I'm gonna wait till after I finish my hair. So I'll be back. Just do your damn lips. 
go ahead and do my lips right now and then I'm gonna go finish my hair and then you're gonna get dressed and then you're gonna head out the door it's so crazy that um, I can't feel this side of my face and when I put on my lip liner and stuff but the crazy part is though which is the good thing when I put on my lip liner now I could feel the top of this lip and then here, I can't necessarily feel it over here, but I could feel it because I feel like a tingling like sensation when I do this. Like this feels so good. Like it feels like a nice massage. Like this over there when I do that, that feels like so good. And then my top lip, the entire top lip I can feel, which is like good. And I just want like sensation back in my face. I think that'll be that'll be nice. This lip gloss by Morphe. Is this one Morphe or Mac? Yeah, this one's Morphe. It's so cute. It matches my eyeshadow perfectly. Especially with the liner because I have brown eyeshadow and then the gold. I have the brown liner with the gold lip gloss. I think that it matches perfectly. Yeah. Pretty. You so pretty girl. You so pretty girl. Yeah, now I'm about to do my hair and get dressed. Okay, so now that my hair and makeup is basically done, right? What y'all think? I think that it looks really good. I think my makeup looks really good. My skin looks really good. Yeah, but yeah, now that my makeup and stuff is done, we're gonna try to figure out how are we gonna do this? So this was the dress that I was wearing like literally all last week, right? So cute, it's such a pretty freaking dress. It is from Nicholas K. It's in an extra, extra small. And I've had it since, hmm, since like the beginning of the pandemic. Not the beginning, like mid through pandemic when like stores started opening back up. So I was literally walking the streets of Soho and I came across this store, I think I was leaving Zara, and I came across this store and they had like this beautiful like dresses like this silk everything dresses like this in the windshield and i was like oh my god those dresses are so pretty i know i'm not traveling nowhere in no time soon maybe they're having a sale <laughs> so i went inside the store really had my eye on this green silk dress it was scrunched up in the front but it flowed effortlessly like off of your body and i was like oh my god where is this dress and i went to find the dress and i saw the dress and the dress was four hundred some dollars it was on sale it was on the sale rack but for four hundred some dollars i was like oh my god it's so pretty but do i want to take one of on a dress that i might not even wear no i didn't want to do that so i was looking they have a bunch of they have tons of other like pretty things so i came across this dress which was half the price it was on sale for two hundred and something dollars and i just love the way it fell on me it just felt so like elegant it gave me like vacation vibes like, I just loved it so I got the dress and um never got a picture in it I wore it a few times actually I wore it a lot of times like outside but I never really got to get a picture in it so I figured today I would get a picture in it and uh, look at what happened this is the sleeve the sleeve literally ripped off of this dress but you know what I'm still gonna wear it and we're gonna figure out how we can wear it and then like a few days ago I got bleach on it by accident. So upsetting. That was my fault. That's because I shouldn't have been trying to wear this. I've been wearing this around the house for the past week and I shouldn't have been because now I look at it. In one week, it's just ruined. But we gonna make some shit. So we're about to, we're about to make some shit. Squeeze me. Parted me, darling. Parted me. But I'm gonna wear some Spanx, some shorts underneath this. Thing. I love that she just wanted us to have like this really cute, comfy color theme. I love that she wanted this like super cute, comfy color theme like party for her birthday. It's the comfy for me. <laughs> it's the comfy for me. Okay, let's make it shake. I'm gonna use it too, baby. Y'all can't even see. Hold on. Okay. Can y'all see? Now can y'all see? Super cute. I think that is so cute, grown and sexy. Just because it just came out of the dryer, so that's why it's a little shrunken. The more I wear it, the more like 
it'll fall. I'm loving this short bottle. Really loving this short bottle. Me. But yeah, I can put like some bronzer on my chest. Okay, and now, obviously I'm gonna have to like roll this sleeve up. Obviously. Obviously, roll the sleeve up. Give it like a little, uh, and then, Definitely just gonna have to literally just roll the sleeves up on this because what? Damn. You just roll it up like that. And then I might have to unbutton this one. That's okay, that don't look too bad. Wants me to help with like um, the website and stuff. So, I mean, like, like Squarespace type stuff. Uh, yeah, and, and Shopify. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But building, I just do templates. That's about it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't do templates. I just go based off of what's available. Mm. If that makes sense. Yeah. 
But just enough to at least have my mama. I can do that. For real. Yeah, we like four. Done, cause then I'm gonna go to this. I'm just gonna go to Target. Like a wig clipping the back. Yeah, no, nah. cause her wigs are so loose to me. Like I don't know why I'm uh, her wigs are so loose. Yeah. And they look so Yeah. Yeah. Okay, y'all like the curls. Now how do I keep my curls? That's a question. But I feel like because the earrings is longer than my hair, it looks like it's drowning my face. I don't know. Let me call my mom and ask her. Like, I got a question. You think these earrings are too much because it's longer than my hair? No. You don't think so? Because it's not hanging on your um, neck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this is how we made it shake. I think that it came out super cute. Um, I just went ahead, like I said, I rolled the sleeves and um, I tied this in like a little ponytail on the inside. And yeah, I'm just wearing some brown sandals and then I just put on this this bag so I can put like my ID and lip gloss and stuff in. And uh, yeah, my mom approved of these earrings. She said that they're not too long. She said if they were touching my shoulders, then it would be a little too long for the haircut. But she said that they're not too long, so it's a vibe. I got my little bursts on that I showed you guys in the last vlog. I literally got these from TJ Maxx. They are so cute. Can you see them? It's not focusing. Yeah, there you go. They're so cute. And um, yeah, this is my outfit for today. I'm feeling very grown, very sexy. But he looks really cute. You know, haircut is super cute. I'm just like really feeling it. So yeah, I'm about to go to Target now and um, get my little basket together. And then I'm gonna head to the party. Happy birthday, Tisha. I'm feeling vibes on vibes. I'm ticking dynamite. I blow your gun. Cause you can never kill my vibe But there is no sacrifices Everything was taken too high 
Like I said, I, I did make it to the airport though. I made it all the way to the airport, all the way to the gate. And remember that I literally forgot to check in. Bruh, are you for real right now? Yeah, I literally forgot to check in. So, yeah, that was sad. So now I'm on a standby for the next flight, which is at 1222. It's currently 11.49, so now I'm about to check and see if I got a seat. Cause baby, baby child, what the hell? Yeah. Mom, go kick my ass. <laughs> She'll be like, bitch, you can't never be on time. So I'm kidding. Cross our fingers, hope to not die, and hope that we don't get this damn um, seat on the flight. How about that? Bye. 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 